Wear advisable face mask for safety. We are aware that going outside our home is inevitable, especially for those who are less privileged. And for that reason, they tend to go out of their homes to make a living, to feed their families in these trying times. This is where the wearing of face mask is a must comes in. This is not an invitation to not stay at home, but to keep us safe while we are away from our home. However, even in the simple task, some people are still not cooperating. And this is evident in the increasing number of COVID-19 cases in our country, which is the Philippines. According to the Department of Health, Philippines, there are 12,225 new active cases as of April 9, 2021. That sums up to 840,554 total number of COVID cases. We should put into our minds that coronavirus is not a joke and we should not take it lightly. We should follow the policies that the government have implemented in serious manner. We should be strict to ourselves to follow this all the time. As stated in Centers for Disease Control and Prevention or CDC, wearing a face mask helps on decreasing the virus transmission and it saves lives. It protects those around you and you yourself. They serve as barrier to help prevent respiratory droplets from reaching others. Studies show that masks reduce the spray of droplets when worn over the nose and mouth. It is advisable to use even when you're not feeling sick because there are several studies have found out that there are symptomatic cases for people that are infected but not showing symptoms. It is also necessary to wear one when you are indoors with people you do not live with. A report published in Health Affairs found that states with face mask mandates had a greater decline in daily COVID-19 growth rates compared with states that did not issue mandates. The authors estimate that it prevented 450,000 coronavirus cases in the U.S. Aside from helping others, you can also help yourself on having the protection from the pandemic. How well it protects you likely depends on how your mask is made, such as the type of fabric, the number of layers of fabric, and how well the mask fits. Using face masks are also questionable since there are some that are evidently unsafe. One of them is the most intriguing or controversial copper mask with a hole under the chin. The Department of Health said that copper masks are not medical grade. However, this can still prevent the spread of the coronavirus mainly by acting as a physical barrier for droplets. But a group of physicians and major hospitals discouraged the use of copper masks, saying this allowed the unfiltered breath to escape. With this another problem occurring, wearing of advisable and medically graded approved face masks should be done. Effective COVID prevention masks are made of fabric or cloth, and 95 masks and disposable or surgical masks. Other recommended masks are made of medical procedure. It fits properly, made with breathable fabric such as cotton, made with tightly woven fabric, with two or three layers, and with inner filter pockets. Using a mask should be properly done by putting it around the nose and chin with no large cups around the sides of the face, like this. After using a mask, it should be immediately thrown away if it is disposable. And if it is fabric or cloth made, 
it should be washed after each use or else the bacteria cough while we are outside will stay on the mask we used. Wearing a mask is really a must for it helps in combating coronavirus pandemic. However, I recommend wearing advice and FDA approved mask to be used than fashion intended and non-medically graded masks. We should prioritize our health and what is best for the community. Let us do what is right before it's too late. Like what Dr. J.C. Butler of CDC said, I wear my mask to protect you. You wear your mask to protect me.